The city by the bay is turned in to the sewer by the bay, and it's taking its housing market along for the ride. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Hope you're doing great. Buckle up. Strap in. We got a hard-hitting pull. No punches. No sugarcoating. No rainbows. No sunshine. No lollipops. No puppy dogs. No unicorns here. We're just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpack today. We're going to examine some real estate, the health and the fitness of the real estate industry as a whole, specific areas. We all know real estate is local. Make no mistake, friends. All or some areas will be recession insulated, but nobody's recession proof. Case in point, we're going to visit a city today. It's a destination city. It used to be considered, I believe, the Paris of the West. It was one of the most awesome metros in America. Unfortunately, it's turned into nothing short of a cesspool. This place is, and, and this is the shocking part for me, and hopefully for you as well, because awareness, economic awareness, is is this is the time. If there's ever been a time, this is the time. And even as a licensed real estate agent is working in the industry, benefiting from the euphoria, I knew this time wouldn't be. This this just couldn't last. The law of gravity: what goes up must come down. Every time the market exhibits bubble behavior, they crash. Not one percent of the time, one hundred percent of the time. So anybody putting zero crash risk here, all oh, this time's different. Uh, no 2008, a correction. Okay, okay, okay. I think I've heard this before. So anyway, today I really want to examine property because the way we're going to examine it, majority of people, 26%, I believe, of the population are on Zillow every single day. We're really enamored by the real estate industry, aren't you? Aren't we? And I am too. I love real estate. It's changed my life. Absolutely owe so much. But it wasn't by buying my primary home in a bubble and then dragging a depreciated asset along for the ride and being one hiccup away from a tailspin. It wasn't doing that. I've always said sacrifice now, right off in the sunset later. Stack investment properties. Even if you have to start with your first home, make sure it pencils out. So we'll be examining a lot of that today and visiting a part of the country that has more people moving out than moving in as leadership is failing them. One of the most beautiful cities in the world doesn't look like it's coming back. And the challenge with this, friends, it's all... <laughs> It, it, this I, I I can't even say it because it, I got to be careful. I got to choose my words carefully here, of course. But you know, this is a trend that's trending all over America, and this was a very unique bubble, artificially uh, constructed. There was no organic growth. It turned into a casino climate, and that's why we've always said the great Warren Buffett's phrase and adopted it: "Be greedy when others are fearful. Fearful when others." Are greedy and so a lot of this greed swept the market some of us said you know i think i'll play it safe maybe sit this one out maybe proceed with caution maybe try to tune into somebody that like we can trust and that's what we're here to do today and that's what we'll continue to be uh, do here at the show but today we're going to go ahead and jump over to a part of the country well i've already revealed it in the intro San Francisco, and we're going to examine what's going on with their real estate. It's not rainbows and sunshine, friends. I'm going to blow apart a property, and I want you to start blowing apart properties in this same exact way. Unfortunately, majority of people, this will fall on deaf ears. I deal with couples constantly uh, where one, you know, they just want to buy. They just want to buy, no matter what. No matter what the warning signs, I always say, once you make up your mind to buy, you're buying. The sky could be falling. <laughs> You'll fall into the hands of some sugar coating it, cheerleading, commission based salesperson telling you this time is different. Well, it is different, it's worse. So, to drive our point home today, let's jump over, take a look, and see how San Francisco, the city by the bay, is behaving. Then we're going to meet back here, wrap this one up. Let's get started. All right, friends, buckle up, strap in, roll up your windows, lock your doors, maybe even put on that face mask if you still have one. We're heading into San Francisco's Mission District, although it's not all rainbows and sunshine anymore. Let's bring up today's crash map, courtesy of our good fuzzy friends and failed iBuyers, Zillow. Everything on your screen going through the kiss of death, price reductions. Now let's go ahead and take a look around our subject property, a newer home, a remodeled home, but unfortunately this home's doing what? You guessed it, sucking air. I can tell this thing is staged. There's no one living in there. You don't live that clean. I don't live that clean, which tells us only one thing. It's been staged. They're paying for staging and sucking air. No renter. They need to get sold and get sold quick. Now let's see what they want for this beauty.
Now let's read between the lines and look between the cracks. It goes on to say this 2014 construction house, like top floor residence, whatever that means, features three levels of elevated indoor outdoor living, scale and soaring ceilings. Not sure what, the, what they're saying there either. This thing already has problems written all over it, but it gets better or worse. It goes on and on and on and on. They're overselling it with a description a mile long, and they lost us right in the first sentence. But wait, there's more. It gets better or worse if you're the seller after 103 days on the market. They have 19 saves. 19 saves is little to no interest. Let's see why. Well, strike one, this condo is priced at $1.7 million in a declining market, which is, in fact, its mid-range value. Now they're stuck on the market, chasing the market. Let's see how bad they're chasing it. Oh, it gets better, or worse again, depending on how you look at it. Area sales now are dropping off a cliff. This is a volatile graph that shows trouble, trouble ahead. Uh-oh, it gets better or worse again, depending on how you look at it. Our owner purchased for $1.9 million back in 2017, pre-bubble. Now they're on the market at $1.7, a $200,000 haircut. We're in massive trouble and running for the exits. But wait, there's more. If we were silly enough to give them the reduced asking price of $1.7 million, which we're not, our cost to carry with the standard amount down at today's interest rate would be approximately $13,000 per month. Are you kidding me? Let's see what the property would even rent for. Strike three, and quite possibly for me, the knockout blow. Our property has an estimated rent range of $6,000 a month. Your cost to carry with 20% down. $13,000 a month. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this one out. It's upside down and in trouble. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. There you go. Problems. That Let's just not even sugarcoat. That is a big, massive, massive problem. If you're looking at properties on Zillow, I really want you to look at it with the same lens. There's a couple key components there, clearly, that have to be entertained and that's clearly cost to carry the property if you have a mortgage on it which the majority of people have a mortgage on it and i and, and i want to address really quick a lot of people were able to refinance or buy a home in the low interest rate environment they're on borrowed time my friends here is why when a bubble pops your low interest rate does not help you why because when we get into recessionary times clear knee deep into a recession, not the front end, knee deep. These homeowners are gonna lose their job. Unfortunately, the financial health of our country will be compromised and you won't be able to sell your home for what you paid for it anymore. So your low interest rate will not help you. It will not, it will not. You can hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Hopefully you come somewhere out in the middle. Whew, insanity, this stuff. So today, what I really wanted to utilize this property for is, does it pencil out? No, it is so far from penciling out and it's already priced after its hefty 25% price reduction below pre-pandemic levels. It's selling now for less than somebody bought for it pre-crisis. More people are leaving this area than coming in. And unfortunately, real estate is like a wild fire. It will start and start spreading around into relatively healthy areas it's just the way that markets migrate. This is slow moving real estate. It's coming out of this bubble. And we're one news event away from a complete race to the bottom. In fact, a lot of people think the stock market's gonna be the catalyst crash. And then the housing market is gonna go along for a nice, not so comfy ride. So clearly we looked at a house today that's in big, massive trouble. There's a sucker born every day. This house, in my opinion, will require a full-blown sucker to buy it. And there's plenty of them out there. Unfortunately, as they continue to be forced to the sidelines, they can't keep up with inflation, cost of living, student loans kicking back in, you name it. People are being forced to the sidelines. This thing's got ice water thrown all over it. You, my friends, me, 
everybody watching today, you should be looking at properties. Nothing wrong with that. You should be kicking tires. You should get an agent willing to kick tires with you. You're going to see them not want to do that. They're going to be falling out of the industry. You are going to see these people beat into the submission and willing to go write your offers. They, a lot of them might not be there yet, but they better get ready. I talk to agents all over the nation for you, and they try to tell me, oh, well, Scott, you know, it's still pretty competitive. Okay, well, get ready. Do you want a new client or not? Now they call me back like, hey, is that client? No, I gave him another agent. You're done. This is the realities of the waters we swim in. I'm not here to sugarcoat it. You don't need to be sugarcoated by some industry professional telling you what. Listen, agents got really spoiled selling remotely with multiple buyers. All ca that time gone. Loan applications are at an historical never seen before. Look, the writing is on the wall. Our San Francisco seller is in big, big trouble. They're get, that thing's probably going back to the bank. And that's what we're going to see. And we know what happens as soon as mainstream me media gets a hold of these narratives. It's contagion. We'll be right. Now, that's, the, that's why this channel, you're probably not going to get what you're getting on here today on mainstream media. That's why it's so important to stay close to this channel as I cut through all the BS and give you real talk. Listen, friends, I will earn your business later if you want to wait. You need an agent that says that. I will earn your business later. If they're not saying that, uh, fire them and contact me and I'll find one that will. I will do my best to do to give you the eight. There's no such thing as a perfect agent, but I'll get you as close as humanly possible. And final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator. Somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understand the biggest artificially created housing bubble ever produced in world history clearly isn't sustaining itself. We looked at a property today that painted that picture for us quite nicely. I, I anticipate this will be the trend moving forward and throw a dart at a map of the US. I can show you tons of properties doing the exact same thing. Stay tuned to this channel as I show prop you properties that are safe and that are unsafe. Today, in my opinion, that property was extremely unsafe. And that's why I'll be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media link in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there. Along with the links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It'd be our honor and are privileged to do so, email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next video, and there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make a count today. I'll see you on the next video.